mean Barack Obama's not black? How is he black? Give me an example. His, me, father, how's his father's black. So that makes him black? Yeah. What about his mama? His mother's white. So that makes him black? Sit down real quick, let me school you real quick. Okay, okay. is white supremacy, or you're white supremacist? It's white supremacy that says that a black man and a white woman together make a black kid. That's that is the purest idea that's of white supremacy. No, no, that's, States. no it's you not. That is not a racist Are you? Hey, <laughs> I don't look at it like that, but I see why he said that. idea that's of white supremacy no no that's States. no it's you not, said it's not a racist are country. you crying are you gonna cry it, you're, I'm sorry. It's thank, your thank Go ahead and speak. It's that's your right event. that's right you're talking over a black man come on <laughs> officer data man or at least know that I was Larry Elder hurt my feelings <laughs> Larry Elder I've only watched a few of Larry Elder's videos He's that obviously black, but he's he seems extremely intelligent. Like all these people just seem smart, man. Like it's crazy. But if y'all don't know me, I'm LFR Jojo. We finna check out um, Officer Tatum um, versus a white woman. I think. Started saying all that truth. I, I was feeling some type of way. Oh no, he can't be right. Dudes on the police department hurt my feelings because I was all over Barack Obama. That was my dog. That's my dog. Smart. He was black, even though he ain't black. He's black, bro. He's black. I don't care what nobody say. And here's the thing with me, bro. Barack, like, that's, that's, he, it's two people, man. Barack Obama and LeBron James. I don't care what nobody, I don't care what nobody say. I don't care. I ride him. For Barack Obama and LeBron James. I'm not talking about no politics or nothing. I'm just I'm just talking about them as people, man. They're my dogs for sure. How do you mean he's not black? What what part hold on hold on. No, no, no. How do you mean Barack Obama's not black? How is he black? Give me an example. His, me, father, his father's black. So that makes him black? Yeah. What about his mama? His mother's white. So that makes him black? Sit down real quick, let me school you real quick. Okay, go ahead and school me. I'm okay. It's white supremacy. Are you a white supremacist? It's white supremacy that says that a black man and a white woman together make a black kid. That's the that is the purest idea of white supremacy. No, no, that's States. no, it's you not. Said it's not a racist. Are you oh. Hey, <laughs> I don't look at it like that. I don't look at it like that. But I see why he said that. If you look back to slavery within the united states or yeah within western civilizations they said if the if the dad was white but the mom was black the child was still black if you even had a sliver of black in you you were black and the reason they did that is because they wanted to consider you less human three-fifths of a human if you had that black blood in you because if you were then you are legally allowed to be a slave at those times so what he's saying, historically, could be true, but, but, <laughs> but, the reason I consider Barack Obama black, just it's just because he's physically black. Like, I look at it as that simple. He is, like, physically black. That's, to me, it's that simple. But, like, anything, race is a spectrum, especially when you have different like mixed race people, at the end of the day, it's all a spectrum. It really is. It's not technically real, but to each his own. Cry? Are you gonna cry? Please you sit down. We are not a racist country. Please sit but down. The dominant social order says because that white supremacy. But white. white supremacy says that. That's why you hold the that's truth to that. Order no, of the my which son. You said is not listen. Racist. Don't talk over me, please. It, I'm sorry. It's the, your event. Thank, Go ahead and speak. That's right. Event. That's right. You're talking over a black man. Come on. <laughs> With all, with all due respect, okay? Respect? With all due respect, Barack Obama isn't black because he have a drop of black in him. My kids, my kids are not black. My wife is white, I'm black. They're biracial. They're not black. See, what happened in history, 
is that if a black if a black man or a white man or any other race had a drop of anything else and it it, it, it eliminated them from being pure white it was called a one drop rule if a white person had a baby with a black person they did not want the white race to not be pure so you defaulted to the other race today they practice the same thing what makes my son black well i get what he's saying i definitely do like if you had a drop of this then you weren't pure-blooded my thing when it comes to being black i think at the end of the day i personally think it's a physical thing are you physically black do you have a larger amount of melanin in your skin if that's the case then i consider you black um i don't really you know i don't really get into these type of debates or these type of discussions i mean if you don't want to call your sons black i mean that's up to you as the father i'm not finna sit here and be like no your kids are black that's not that's i've never even seen his kids i'm not finna do here but when it comes to barack obama the reason he's considered black in my eyes is because he's literally just physically black like if you want to talk about it when you have white or black of course, there's a spectrum between white and black. There's always a spectrum in the middle. But at the end of the day, if you're more black than white, then your people are just going to consider you black. I feel like we're kind of playing around when it comes to, you know, like, oh, yeah, you're, you're biracial or you're mixed race, so we're going to define you as this. That kind of creates, like, a new category, which is fine. I mean, the world is progressing. But majority of the time, if you're more black than white, people are just gonna call you black. Like when you, that's just that's just gonna be what it is, man. <laughs> it's just it's just what it is. He is 50-50. He's half white, half black. There's no way that you call him black unless you want the white race to be pure. And I think that's what that is. 50-50 genes. That boy is 50-50. He don't have to walk around and say he's black. He don't have to walk around and say why he's biracial. And it bothers me when people still hold that racist ideology. If a white person have a baby with a Hispanic person, that person is Hispanic. Why is that? Because the white race needs to be pure. It cannot have any fault. It cannot have any uh, uh, mixing. They used to call it back in the day race mixing. Mm, yes, yes, yes and no. Nobody is really 50-50. Nobody is really, I mean, yeah, kind of, like, you have a white parent who's purely white, you have a black parent who's purely black, you are, you could be considered 50-50, but there are dominant and recessive genes. Like, melanin, in general, is just a dominant phenotype. So that's why when you have a black parent and you have a white parent, more than likely, I'm not going to say every time, more than likely that child is going to have a lot more melanin because do, because melanin is just a more dominant gene. And it makes the white gene or the white skin tones recessive. So when you look at it like that, it's not really 50-50. Even if it is 50-50, since uh, melanin is a more dominant gene and it's darker and you have someone who's white, even if you have a child... Even if that child is in the middle, it's just going to be less brown, meaning it's still going to have a large amount of melanin compared to, let's say, the average human. And it's going to have a, such a larger amount of melanin that it'll be almost impossible for, he, he called him a, a purebred white, to match their level of skin tone. And I'm not saying that's the case for all cases, but I'm saying that's the case for when you have a child or someone like Barack Obama, and you say he's not fully black. Um... Of course, he's not fully black, but physically, genetically, I guess, he has more melanin than the average human, and he he looks black. Y'all are about the same skin color. So, on that level, I guess he's black, but I do definitely get what <laughs> Officer Satan's saying. Um, the entire idea of, oh, you're black, or oh, you're white, you can't know. That kind of is rooted in, you know, colorism and racism. So, yeah, I get what he's saying, but on a, like, genetic level... I don't think it's true. That's why we have racism today in some capacities is because of that very reason. And I do think people want us to be divided when it gets to these type of topics and saying like, oh, no, you can't be white. Like, no, if you have a if you have white parents, then mm, I don't know. But me, I don't really like to engage in these type of topics. I mean, who who cares, bro? We're all humans like. <sighs> 
It's just, it's, I don't know, man. But anyways, do you have any more suggestions for me? Shout out to Officer Taylor for making this type of video. Um, it's LFR Jojo, and I'll see you on the next one.